also need to increasingly be more sanctified, progressive. For positional, once you're in the position, you also need to be progressive. You have to learn. It never stops there. Okay? We are holy. That's positional. But we need to increase holiness. Progressive. Okay? We are saints. Positional. The Bible says that, that we are saints. But we need to live like saints. Progressive. Are, are you understanding me? Yes. So there's A, what we call positional, that there's nothing we did, but it's by the grace of God. But there's something that we can do progressive. Mm. So this is our part, the progressiveness. Yes. All right? Amen. Okay. Now, the good thing is that God promised to never forsake His children. So be confident because He which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the, until the day of Jesus Christ. That's what Philippians 1, 6 states. So that's why, thirdly, let's look at it. And I think a lot of you here needs this. It's called strengthening grace. Amen. We all need this. We all need this. Strengthening grace. It is God's plan for all His children to experience strength in daily life. Because of what Jesus did for us in His redemptive work, strength is now available to those who are in Christ. Strength is a grace from God. And since we all know this, I just want you to please open your Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And we will read it all together. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Although it's in the screen, it's still lovely to open and flip your Bible to read this verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And we will read it all together. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And I count of three. Let's read all together. One, two, three, read. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for me, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Notice, grace is called strength and power. Have you noticed it? It says, for my grace, for my strength, is made perfect in weakness. And then, at the very bottom, at the bottom, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Strength is a grace, also means that it's a provision that must be received by faith. You have to receive it by faith. You won't become superman. Okay? Just like saving grace must be received through faith, strengthening grace is received and released through faith. That's why you need to be at church. The more problems you receive, the more you have to go to church. Amen. Strengthening grace is received and released through faith. Like what I said, faith can receive strength like it can receive salvation. Isn't it good? Okay? The faith can receive strength as well. Apart from salvation, because of your faith, you can also have strength. So you need to have strength. Faith. That's why Hebrews 11 11 is a proof to that. Hebrews 11 11, and I quote, through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive sin and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Okay, now why did I put it here? Because this is a perfect example about this faith. Okay, so Sarah is the wife of. Abraham. Abraham. And she was in her 90s. <laughs> Past time of childbearing. Okay? And her body's natural function of producing an egg and hormones necessary. Okay? Her child making ability has long since passed. Maybe 50 years ago already. Around 40, right? 40 years old. So I believe the average age of a menopause is around 50. I don't know. I'm, I'm not experiencing this. Sometimes my attitude is like this, but I don't. So, okay. so she was already 19. And Abraham's body was also unable to produce sin. And yet, she, by faith, received strength. Through Christianity, it's not an easy life. It is not. Make no mistake. Christianity is not an easy life. It will often take us to places of difficulty and challenge. Yeah. We need grace to strengthen That's us. Right. To enable us to be faithful even when the going gets tough. Yes. Sometimes we may be put in a difficult situation. Maybe with our family as we tell them about Jesus. That's right. 
or maybe in our workplace as we stand in our faith. Mm. You know, it takes strength and boldness to do these things. Yeah. But we can draw strength from God. That's why I like what Second Timothy, uh, uh, when Paul instructed Timothy here. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Though therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. It says there, be strong in the grace. Be strong is literally be empowered. Paul is not exhorting Timothy to dig deep within himself of courage. You know, the world will tell you, you can do it. Just, just strengthen yourself. Mm. But look at, this is what Christianity will teach you. It's not up to us. It's not up to Timothy in that verse to produce the courage. Have you noticed? It's yeah. not up to him. Mm. Rather, he is to avail a provision that is made for him by God. Mm. To allow God to empower him. That's why you know if you're a rooted Christian, no problem will ever shake you. Because mm. your foundation is a solid ground. Amen. Amen. That's why be strong, Christian. Be right. strong. Don't yeah. trust on yourself. Yourself will fail you. Yeah. Right. My brain will fail me all the time. I forget mm. a lot of things. <laughs> so, right? So, focus on God. Christian, you and I can draw from the same source of strength. The Lord Jesus Christ. We can draw to Him. That's right. We may think we're not fit or equipped to join a ministry. We may think we're not educated enough or eloquent enough to preach or teach, but look at me, I'm preaching here. Yeah. I'm struggling with my English right now. It's running out. <laughs> we may think we're not social enough to share the gospel. We may think we're not financially unable to support any other missionary. You know, church, but listen to me. God sees that as an opportunity. It's an opportunity. To show his power. You will be surprised. You will be surprised. Let us not depend on our own abilities. Definitely we cannot do it. On our own. God wants our obedience. Not our abilities. Have you realized that? He doesn't need your ability. Who are you? He's the one who created heaven and earth. Who are we to him? You're good in singing. You're good in technology. You're good at something. He don't care. He don't need that. That's right. Because he can replace us easily. Yes. You know what he wants for us? It's our obedience. Amen. Amen. He wants our obedience. Because he will equip us. So speaking of sharing, okay? Our sharing grace. Yes. Sharing grace. Amen. So as a follower entrusted with this incredible privilege and responsibility of sharing,